Next. Hey. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold this. Hey, <laughs> What's your name? Please, shoes, boy, got on. Sorry, hold Sydney. the mic up. Sydney. Yes. Okay, Sydney. How old are you? I'm 35. 35, and what do you do? Um, I own a luxury car rental service. Okay. Um, and I also manage celebrity talent. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, I love someone that's in touch with their emotional intelligence, someone who could connect on that side mm. um, and who has, you know, a level of self-esteem okay. that I could connect with. Got it, got it. And now what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers is a lack of confidence. So somebody mm. who may have daddy issues that's unresolved. Okay. Um, so those are my deal breakers, but I'm pretty open. I love to just connect first and kind of see where that go. Got it, okay. Yeah. Now what are some things you like to do for fun? <laughs> So I'm, I'm big on traveling. Mm. Um, I love shopping. Okay. Um, and I, I love to kind of really try different type of foods. Got it. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, I see you big on shopping. You came out with the bag, everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm in my bag and I'm full of surprises. I just want to uh -oh. make sure you know that. Okay. Why are you carrying okay, a bag so around? get a few pop balloons. Cool. Let's go on over there and see what's going on. Sure. I'll leave this here. Okay. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. My name is Lexi and I'm 27. Hey, Lexi, how are you? Hi. Lexi, why'd you end up popping your balloon? I popped my balloon just because of the eyebrows. Like, you have your eyebrows done, and I don't really even do my own eyebrows, so <laughs> it's just kind of like, eh. I don't want you in the mirror longer than I'm in the mirror. Because he grooms yeah, himself? Got it. <laughs> so now is Lexi someone that's your type? Lexi's very beautiful. Thank you. Thank okay. you. These guys better stop uh, complimenting. What is this? Is that just a new thing now when dudes get dissed and clowned by women? They just compliment them and, and let these women walk all over them? Bro, I ain't complimenting you after you diss me like, uh, talk about clown me like that. So, if he had a, so what you want the man to do? You want to let the man grow the unibrow? You want the man to just let his eyebrow go crazy and have unibrow? Is that what you want? She don't do her eyebrows. What is she talking about? Her eyebrows look lined up to me. What is she talking about? That, that's part of grooming. Now, does he... Let, let me get a closer look. Does he have... Now, if he got the pencil... If he didn't pencil in his eyebrows, I feel her on that now. If he penciled his eyebrows in, I feel her on that. But, I mean, come on now. So, she saw her out, you'd approach her? Oh no! I gotta wait a minute now. I take that back. Let me stand corrected. I'm looking at that eyebrow from the side. It do look like he got them penciled in, don't he? So I think I feel her a little bit on there. I kind of see them eyebrows do look like he did something. He got like a pencil. He didn't took a mascara or something and penciled them in or something. I I would. Okay. Yes. Come, come. All right. Let's go to our next pop balloon. All right. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm C and I'm 36. Okay. And see, okay. why did you end up popping your balloon? I prefer men that aren't too flashy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 What about him is giving off flashy? Okay. The bag, the just, yeah. I prefer okay. less for men. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just That's more fair. low key. Less is more. <laughs> I Have you gotten that before? Um, not necessarily, because I'm, I'm a person that kind of really switch up my styles. I kind of wear, and I'm a man of hey. many hats, so I wear a lot of different looks. Got so it. today was one of those things I just kind of figured. You know out what? Where I want to take you after this. So. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, you know what? <laughs> All right. Now I see some of the. They in Atlanta, you know. They in Atlanta. Okay. So I don't know. He, he got a little funny. His walk a little, uh, a little, a little strange. You know what I'm saying? So he might be uh, engaged in some uh, homoerotic activity down there in Atlanta. He might be one of them guys, you know. He might uh, be on the uh, every now and then. He might be get a, get him a little. Uh, he might have the hankering for a little bit of bussy action every now and then. So you gotta watch that. You approach if you saw her. Very out. beautiful again. Um, oh, look at that beard too. Yeah. Got it. That beard it back here. Let's go. He like he drew yeah. that beard up there, don't he? <laughs> okay. All right. If we can have your name and age. Alexis, and I'm 29. All right, and Alexis, why did you end up popping your balloon? I mean, he's like too pretty. Mm. Uh -huh. Like, yeah. you could tell you do a yeah. lot getting ready and stuff. Like how she said, she doesn't want a man in the mirror longer than she is. Okay. But I mean, hey, you you look good, but not really that's fair. Tight. Okay. That's fair. Thank you. <laughs> now, same thing. Is she someone that you would approach? She seemed like she has a great personality. Very pleasant. 
got the little homemade dimples. I like the little dimples <laughs> sitting there. Yeah, and then again, you know, I love red carpets. I like going to the gala. I love really, just really nice places to go. So I didn't, wasn't sure about the area out here. Uh -huh. So I wanted to kind of make sure I was dressed for the occasion. Uh -huh. But I, I appreciate that. Okay. You could always get your balloons back, lady. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's he really like he liked to go to some of them P Diddy uh freak offs. That was he looked like he liked to do. He liked to go to the P Diddy party. It's not only how you're dressed, it's it's in your face. It's in my face too. You're yeah, like boy. Mm. Okay. It's not bad. Okay. <laughs> he might have look like he got makeup on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Let's you. go down over here. All right, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Nkiru and I'm thirty two. Okay. Uh, the reason why I pop, uh, I think I see like tattoos. Okay. Yeah, I really don't do tattoos. Oh, you don't do sorry. tattoos. Yes. Okay. Yes. Where are you from, by the way? I'm Nigerian. I'm Nigerian. I have yes. a lot of friends from Nigeria. Yeah. Very, yeah. Beautiful <laughs> culture. Thank you. Yes. Actually, my, my last girlfriend was from Africa. Mm. So, yeah. Nice. Very interesting. I love the culture, by the way. Nice. Thank but you. Thank you. Thanks. Yep. All right. And now she's someone that's your type? Beautiful. Yes, again. Thank yes. you. Yes, yeah, she's caught. She's she connects with her culture and her background. That's a beautiful thing. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go to our next. Oh, actually, no, there ain't no next lady. I lied. Let's go back. Let's go back. <laughs> All right. So we do have three unpopped balloons. Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask the ladies a question, just to kind of help you narrow it down, see who is more of your match. Okay. Um. Wait. What do you guys like to do? And thank you for keeping your balloons. Could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Okay, let's start right here with your name and age. My name is Tiffany and I'm 26 years old. I like the strip. Um, I like traveling as well. I love trying new foods. I love doing new things. Um, I'm still like in my 20s, yeah. so I like to just try everything new. Like I'm a very adventurous person. Ah, spontaneous? Yes, I'm very spicy. I love that. I love that. Any particular type of food you like? Um, I love Italian food. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love that. So do I. Okay. So do I. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go to our next lady. We'll start with your name and age and then the answer to this question. I'm Danielle and I'm 35. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. and then the answer to this oh, question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> things that I like to do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, um, so I, I, I feel like I'm pretty adventurous and spontaneous. Um, I'm kind of down for whatever. I do like to have fun. I like to go out and dance. Down for um, whatever she said. I like to lounge. I like to also be at home. Beautiful. Down for whatever he I'm said. Like what about your favorite food? The real question is, when he brings you in the bedroom and the other bussy comes out, are you down for that? Okay, are you down for the other man coming in there and him getting down with another man while, you know, in y'all bedroom? That is the question. Oh, any, any particular food you like? I love to eat. I have a very restricted diet. Okay. Very restricted. Um, okay. I was a vegetarian for six years, mm -hmm. and I only eat chicken and turkey. Oh, wow. Um, but I don't eat any dairy products. I don't take in any cow's milk or anything like that. Okay. That's very interesting. Thank you. <laughs> do you live in the area? I do. Okay. Good. Nice to meet you. All right. Let's go on to our next lady. We'll start with your name and age, and then just the answer to his question. Uh, my name's Kiana. I'm 32. Um, you said name, age, and... And then your question was... Just a little bit about what you like to do. What you that woman ain't no uh, 32. Um, I love to travel. Mm -hmm. That woman ain't no 32. Okay? That woman ain't... She's 39. Maybe... Probably 42. Um, I like to work. I'm very busy. So yes. that's also something that I do enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, shopping... And whatnot, and yeah. Nice. I love Very shopping. Basic, like, yeah. I love shopping. What do you like yeah, to shop? We see you like to shop. Um, he be at the latest mall. Like, Just a little bit of everything. Yeah, like I like my Forever 21's H&M's, but mm -hmm. then I also like my Ferragamo, Gucci, and stuff nice. like that. So uh, There's nothing wrong with that. So you work hard, play hard? Yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I have eight sisters, so... I kind of connect on different levels with different people, and they kind of all taught me kind of really how to just... Yeah, every woman have their own different tastes, yeah. you know? So eight sisters, eight different personalities. So <laughs> I like that. Very beautiful, though. Thank you. Yes. All right. Thank you. Okay. So kind of based off of those responses you heard, I'm yeah. going to have you pop one of those ladies' balloon. If I can just Ooh. borrow your pick. I'm going to get this over to you. Ooh. 
I know it's tough. They are all gorgeous ladies. <laughs> Can I ask like one more question? Next round. For this round, Next you do round. have to pop that one. Uh huh. <laughs> oh. Get rid of the stripper, bro. I get rid of that girl on the end. That say she's thirty two. She oh. ain't no thirty two. That's a tough one. I bet. <laughs> oh. Get rid of that one on the end, bro. Uh, I'll just go with her. The stripper. Okay. I saw it was really, really tough. It was tough. Yeah. That was tough. So why did we end up going with oh, hers? It was tough. I love the fact that you, you took a chance, even with your age. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that you're very spontaneous and that you're open to new things. Mm -hmm. And that you're okay with a, a guy that kind of take care of himself a little bit. I might have went too far. My barber went a little too far. <laughs> he did that. But, um... But that's cool. Something I learned from or whatever. But um, I think you're very beautiful. Thank you. And um, I'm sure you're going to find somebody that connects very well Thanks. with you. So, yeah. <laughs> no, um, honestly, like, I, I don't mind flashy. I'm very, like, over the top myself. So mm -hmm. I didn't mind that. Um, I like when someone takes me to do new things or try yeah. to do new things. I love a man that loves women. So knowing that you have a bunch of sisters, I have a bunch of sisters yeah. as well. That was a really, like, Good yeah, that's the me, thing, so. you know, I really, I just, and my sisters, yeah. I've learned a lot from them, you know, taking care of yourself, you know, and just really just, just being neat. I think mm -hmm. a woman want a man who's clean. I like who, a man that goes to nail salon with me too. Right. <laughs> I don't necessarily go to the nail salon. Me. But I used to own a chain of uh, barbershops, so, mm -hmm. you know, I, I always think that it's important to make sure that you maintain your look, especially if you want someone who's, you know, who wants to connect with you and you represent them. So I think that I represent, just like I represent a few talents in the industry I represent my woman I what was your deal me. breaker for me well the deal breaker for me was really just your age it was the age <laughs> <My older men. laughs> you know my last girlfriend was close to your age oh. um and sometimes in the area of that there's a little bit of just uncertainty um just uncertainty yeah. you're learning a lot and um you know, there's there's some room for growth for all of us. Mm -hmm. So I was just look I was just looking at that. But you're you're very beautiful, and I, I can tell you really get along. You have really good energy. Thank you. You have I really good mad. energy, okay. like red carpet stuff. Just getting out there and just having fun and connecting. I really okay. didn't ask what they do, but that's okay. We could ask our next two ladies. I will. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what do you do? I work in human resources. Okay. Excellent. So. So you basically, you work in human resources, just keeping everything organized and making sure everyone's following the company policies and things like that. Pretty much. Excellent. <laughs> Any other side things you enjoy doing or you do like side work or jobs, hustles or businesses? Um, not currently. I'm okay. kind of focused on my career and uh, growing where I am currently. Nice. Um, so that's, that's interesting. Nice, nice, nice. Let's All right, ask thank her. You. All right. And what do you do? Um, well, I am a CNA, mm -hmm. and also I um, am a supervisor at a, a shoe store in real estate. Real estate. So, Excellent. Yeah. Okay. I do real estate as well. Oh, I nice. really do. Um, do you live in the area? No. Miami. Oh, you live in Miami? I live in okay. Miami. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's, pretty, that's nice. That's yeah. nice. Just here you go. Okay. All right. Um, any children? I have a daughter. I have a daughter. Um, she's 12 years old. All right. But I, uh, I do want five kids total. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> she's just my first one. Okay. So I have a lot of work to do. I hear you. <laughs> do you have any five, kids? Five, I do have a daughter. Okay. Yes, I do have a daughter. <laughs> I think it's important, you know, understanding that a woman that has a daughter, to me, she, she made room in her life to add someone else. Because that's not easy. So being independent and by yourself sometimes, Sometimes women become selfish and just kind of really don't know how to share that space. So I appreciate that. I do. All right, yeah. ladies, do we have any questions for him? Yes, uh, you asked, are we were local? Are you local? I'm not local, but I'm open to travel. I'm open to flying out, flying you out. Um, just really making sure I make the connection because I'm serious. I'm serious, I'm really. Where are you located? I'm actually from New York City, but I currently reside in uh, Charlotte. Okay. Yeah. How old is your daughter? My daughter's nine, but she lives in she lives in Chicago with her mom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's well taken care of. Any questions on your end? Um, um, you said selfish. What do you mean by that? 
what you mean? Mm -hmm. Not being selfish, meaning that you know how to share some of your love, your time, your attention, your space. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, I, I, I am selfish. Like, I'm a self, like, not completely selfish. I, of course, I do have that all for my daughter, but I get told a lot from my exes. Like, I do have, like, I do have selfish behavior and whatnot. I was pretty spoiled growing up, so, I mean, I just want to be honest, so that okay. way you're not, like, bamboozled. So. <laughs> <laughs> bamboozled. Okay. Okay. So, would you have room, do you have room to share with others? Yeah, of course. Beautiful. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Like, okay. yeah. But that, yeah, that, that, I, that is a part of me. Yes. So, nice. yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll be back for her. So, why did we end up popping? It's important for him that you sh that you share him. Uh, yeah, I wonder what what do you mean by that sharing? He keep emphasizing that sharing. What's that all about? Um, I'm definitely so I I have children myself, okay. but my children are older, mm. um, well above nine. <laughs> so I am definitely in the stage of my life where I'm looking for someone who wants to be selfish with me. Um, I want all your time. I understand we work. I understand you have other all your time, but I need to be number one priority. And unfortunately, you got sisters, your daughter, you got a lot of people in front of me, oh, <laughs> and sister. that's just unfortunately not where I am in life. Okay. Yeah, my sisters are all in their own world. They 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 live in different countries. My sister live in Mexico. My other sister live in New York. They they all in their own world, married and just focused. So I'm out of their space. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let me walk you on up. Ooh ooh. Go ahead. Um, I just think that I don't think it's will be a match. Like, so I'm gonna have to pop the balloon. Okay. Like, <laughs> oh. yeah. All right. So why would you end up popping? I just don't see too much of like a not even necessarily connection because it's been two minutes, mm -hmm. but. Yeah. You just remind me of someone, I don't know, someone in my family, <laughs> like okay. you too, like my uncle or my dad, like, okay. I think it's like, you just remind me of something, so, okay. Okay. yeah. That's good. Nice. Thank mm. you. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that is, unfortunately, all of the balloons popped, but we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. <laughs> Take the mic. So, so I never got a chance to uh, show the surprise. Oh, okay. Do we get to see it still? I don't want to be nobody's last option. Mm. <laughs> so maybe next time. Okay. All right. Thank I you. I want to see what was in the bag. Up, ladies. Okay. Then I look. He say he stay in Charlotte. Okay. But this guy right here, he emphasized. So you got to pay attention to the cold words with these guys. Okay, look at this guy. I mean, this guy, he got his beard drew on him. He got his eyelashes drawn on him. His All his facial, all his facial expressions are drawn on his face with a, a mascara pen. Okay. They in Atlanta. They know the deal. Okay. They know what's going on with this guy. Okay. So, all that sharing. See, the women at the end, they went ahead and popped their balloons because they got the message. He was sending a subliminal code to them about sharing, okay? Because this man got some bussy bandit action going on on the side, okay? <laughs> we just got to call it what it is. So, you know, he likes to share, you know, his attention, not just with the women, but with some uh, male explicit activity. Okay, that's what's going on with that guy. But enough of that guy. Next. 